After you've downloaded Audacity, go ahead and open the program. Now come up here to File to go find the audio file that you want to import from your computer. It's really no different than opening a Word document with uh, Microsoft. Uh, so I'm just going to come up here. Let's go look for some Beethoven to use for this example. And then I'm going to grab the final movement of the second symphony. So it's going to import the file and open it into the editor. And you can see we have all of our audio here from the very first second all the way to the very end. If you want to be able to zoom in on a particular portion within the audio, just come up to view and you can zoom in, you can zoom out, or you can refit it to the window, which is really helpy, helpful when you're working with a very large piece of audio, uh, perhaps maybe the first moon or the third symphony. So the first thing uh, to notice is that you are in the selection tool, which is this little brackety thing here, which is going to allow you to actually select audio. So first of all, say most of us don't want, you're not going to play a six and a half minute clip for your class, so let's select which audio you're actually going to play. So I'm going to start at the second minute, and I'm going to select the audio that I want to get rid of, because I can't just select the audio and get rid of what's around it. I have to select the audio that I don't want, delete it, and then be left with the audio that I do want. So I'm going to select from 2 to 0 and just hit the delete button. And then I'm going to come over here and do the same right around 45 seconds to the end and hit delete. So now I'm left with the audio that I want and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that so that I can see it a little bit better. Um, so now that I have the audio that I would like to use for my clip, I want to apply a little bit of extra uh, pizzazz to it. I want to be able to fade in and fade out on the audio. It means you don't have to sit there and babysit the volume control during the exam. So I'm going to select the first five seconds using my selection tool again. and I'm going to go over here to effect and come down to fade in, which is going to create a nice fade in over those five seconds. Now you could select up to, you know, 20 seconds if you wanted to. Five seconds is usually a pretty good way to go. I'm going to unselect that, go back to the beginning of the track with my play controls up here, and hit play. This is less jarring this way. So then I'm going to come to the end of the clip and do the very same thing. I'm going to select the last five seconds and do instead a fade out. And let's hear what that sounds like. Very nice. So now I have my audio clip. I have 50 seconds of audio, I have a fade in and fade out, I'm ready to take this audio clip, take it outside of Audacity so that I can actually put it on a CD and use it for my listening exam. So I'm going to come to File and Export this audio. And I am going to call this Example 1. And I'm going to, from the format list, I'm going to select WAVE. It's a good high quality file, you're not going to be stripping out a whole bunch of audio. I'm going to just go ahead and save it straight to my desktop. and. I can get rid of this information if I so desire. I'm just going to hit OK. And it's going to export this to my desktop. I'm going to minimize Audacity here so I can drag this over. And you can see, and I'm just going to play this right in this window. So I have a nice, very nice audio file, and then once I insert the CD, I can just grab this information, drag and drop it onto the CD, and burn it to the disk. If you have any further questions, please feel free to email me and or give me a call. Maybe I will be in my office. <laughs> and um, if you have problems downloading Audacity, please also let me know that.